Yeah, we'll just ring us when you're ready. <sighs> yeah, I'll bet. All right, I'll speak to you later. Bye. That was Zoe. Everything OK? Yeah, she just said she'll ring us when she wants picking up. And how'd she sound? Fine. In fact, better than fine. Quite upbeat, really. Even managed to crack a joke. <sighs> I knew Zoe could joke in a situation like this. True. Although it's not really going to kick in until she gets home, is it? So, lots of TLC, all right? <sighs> really hope we're not going to have endless chats about it. The sooner she puts this behind her, the better. I don't think it's going to be quite as easy as that, Chris. Why not? Because she's just given birth, that's why. Her hormones will be all over the place. Exactly. That's why she's got to occupy herself, keep busy. It's done, Charity, over with. It's time to move forward. Thought she'd have phoned by now. Hmm. Sometimes they take a while, though, don't they? Maybe I'll call the clinic. Chris, she said that she'd ring. Only me. Hi. I thought you said you were going to phone. Sorry, I decided to get a taxi instead. It seems silly you coming home all that way. Are you OK? I'm fine. Don't I look it? You look great. I'll tell you what, I'll go and put the kettle on. OK. Right, I'll pop upstairs and get changed. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine, honestly. Actually, I thought I'd go and register birth today. May as well get it over and done with. Would you like me to come with you? Yeah. Be nice. How did it go? I take it you've registered her in that? Yep. Are you OK? Yeah, she's fine. I can't speak for myself, thank you, Chris. Stupid clerk. Well, what happened? Nothing. Come off it! He had to get the facts right. He was just doing his job. The facts? Well, how many more times could I say, I don't know who the father is? I'm a good mind to report him. Anyone like some coffee? No, thank you. I feel worked up enough as it is. <sighs> he shouldn't have come with me. You know, I think he's finding this harder than he's letting on, so. Oh, and I'm not. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Zoe? Hey, what's wrong? I thought I could hear a, a baby crying. Oh, Zoe. It was so real. Yeah, I know. I, I had the same thing. Did you? Did you honestly? Yes. For weeks. And it is weird. You're not just saying that to make me feel better. Why would I do that? Listen, Zoe, you, you've just given birth. Right, your body's in shock. It doesn't know where it's at. I just want things to be back to normal. And they will be, given time, but you just have to take things easy. Oh, I've been taking things easy for months. Yeah, but you're always in such a rush. Life's not a race. You have to learn to sit down, put your feet up and do nothing. Hey, take a leaf out of my book. I'm master at it. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. I do feel, um, uptight. Right. Well, in that case, how about a little drink? Gin and tonic? Yeah, OK. Make it a large one. I remember the day I came out of hospital. I remember the smell of the damp overcoats. It was so overpowering, it made me want to gag. And then coming home on the bus, there was this woman sitting opposite me with this kid. She kept looking at me. I was convinced she knew. <laughs> Come to think of it, I thought the old bus knew. You do know she's just giving a baby away, don't you? I remember thinking, this is never going to end. But it did. Is that here with you now? Do you ever think about her? The baby? No. My motto is, don't ever look back. Wish I could be more like you. No, you don't. Anyway, enough about the past. So, how does it feel to have your figure back? <laughs> you must be joking. The bump might have gone, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, if men knew what we had to go through, eh? Thank you. What are you thanking me for? For being there. For supporting me. I don't think I could have managed without you. You're tougher than you think you are, you know. You're just feeling a bit fragile at the moment. Hey, give it a couple of weeks and we'll be rowing again. Never. I bet you ten quid. 
You're on. Hmm. Sorry. It's just frozen lasagna. I'll tell you something, Chris. We're going to have to get a new housekeeper. Where's Zoe? She's watching telly. She's not hungry. You know, it was really strange registering that birth today. Oh, we've been down this road. Leave it. Just forget about it. It's done. Why do you think she chose my mother's name? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because that's what she wanted. But she's not keeping it, is she? Well, it had to be called Summit, didn't it? Please. Chris, just leave it, all right? Let it go. Oh, so I'm not allowed to express an opinion now, is that it? No! Anyway, I didn't say that. Might as well have. Look, Chris, naming the baby was Zoe's choice. It had to be. Anyway, it's nothing to do with you. Why is it you're always on her side? I am not. <sighs> Sounds like it to me. All I'm asking is, is once in a while that you take my point of view. OK? Fine! People love already much better in terms of their understanding of what it was like to be in York in the Viking. Ninety-nine, and archaeologists and designers who between them will create the 